Hello everyone, and welcome back to another session of Dark Souls 2 PvP and another weapon showcase. This time I am using the Ivory Straight Sword, which you can get in the third DLC by using a certain boss's soul. Now, this weapon is one that I was extremely excited to see. I, as soon as I saw it, I knew I needed to get it, and I thought it would be a lot better than it actually is, considering it's a, uh, it's a lightsaber and all that. I was a little bit disappointed, and honestly still am. It's a really cool looking weapon, and it just doesn't have anything that great to back up its looks. But, that being said, Fashion Souls is king, and I still have a really good time with this weapon. So. Getting started. The Ivory Straight Sword requires 6 strength and 40 dexterity in order to wield. It has no scaling. So that's 40 dexterity, and you don't get a single bit of scaling from it at all. Yeah. The physical base damage of the weapon is 255. The attack rating for me, I'm using the Ring of Blades and Flynn's Ring on this, so I've got an attack rating of 355. Again, no scaling, so that's as high as it gets. The counter strength of the weapon is 120, poise damage is 10 per hit, and the weight is half of a unit, 0.5. It weighs pretty much nothing. So, that's good. Now, overall, this weapon kinda sucks. It really does, not even gonna lie. It's not that great of a weapon, but it's just so cool. I mean, you're a Jedi. How can you go wrong with that? Well, first off, you're not cutting off any limbs with this thing. It's more of a slow, uh, cleaving than anything. It's very, 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 very low damage. It's really not that great. You should get used to hitting about 300 damage on a backstab if you want to use this thing. You should get used to about 200 damage hits on a regular basis with a weapon that has a long sword move set, a straight sword move set, but is slower than every, string, every other single straight sword. But, it still does have a straight sword moveset, so it can still do some combos, that's a good thing. It has a unique R2 attack when two-handed, which I actually really like. It actually will do more damage for you than a repost will in most cases, so that's something else to keep in mind. Uh, instead of going for the repost after you parry, then doing like 300, 400 damage maybe, you're better off going for the two-handed R2. Just throwing that out there. Um, yeah. So, the biggest pro of the weapon, you're a Jedi. Other pros, your moveset, and the weight. That's pretty much all this weapon has going for it, though. That's really it. It also cannot be infused or buffed, by the way. The cons, your speed. Yes, it's a straight sword moveset, but as I said, it's actually slower than every single other straight sword. So, that's a slight problem. It means you can't pull off certain combos, and it means that if you are fighting against someone using a straight sword, they will win if you go for a trade. They will hit you first and stun you out of the hit. So, that's a problem. Other cons, the requirements, I mean, come on, 40 dexterity for no scaling, that's a problem. Also, another con, no scaling. Yeah, these things are pretty bad about the weapon. They're really, really bad. But, that's the way it is. One pro that I did forget to mention that I have personally experienced, if you're fighting someone who is using this weapon and you parry it, there's a very good chance that you will still take damage, even though you parried their attack. Because you parry the little uh, thing that you're holding, the little thing your opponent's holding, not the beam of light itself. So that beam will still hit you and will still damage you in most cases. So, there's that. That's something else to keep in mind. Overall, fun weapon, really enjoyable, not even close to being the most viable straight sword that there is, but you're a Jedi, so you can use your mind tricks and trick yourself to thinking it's great. So, good stuff. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful in one way or another, and I will see you all next time.